It is my honor and my pleasure to ask you to welcome Jeff Skoll to the stage for the presentation of the Skoll Awards. First up, the Foundation for Ecological Security helps Indian villagers secure rights to publicly owned land. They learn to manage it sustainably and secure their community's prosperity. From the Foundation for Ecological Security, Jagdish Rao Pupala. I started out thinking that we're in the simple business of helping village communities manage forests, pastures, and water. But they saw more to it than just trees, or for that matter, woods. We asked some people who were initially uninterested or somewhat opposed to our work, but later joined on and assumed important roles. They had very interesting stories to say about why they connect to commons. One was a reasonably well-off farmer who had his cropland adjoining the village hill, which the whole village was greening. The improved vegetation also helped soil moisture retention, which directly and significantly impacted on the productivity of his peanut crop on the adjoining farmland. The commons in the area were directly contributing to the pockets of farmers who had their lands adjoining the village hill. The second was a widower who saw from the village activity the improved management of the pasture, resulting in improved fodder availability, thereby allowing his only daughter to cut and harvest the fodder in less than two hours and feed the animals instead of having to take them to graze throughout the day. This helped her to resume going back to school. <clears throat> so what we saw as a simple planting of trees was a larger story of how people connected ecologically, economically, socially, and emotionally to a larger picture of commons. These are day-to-day -day reasons why people in rural areas cooperate. So how do we, people living in cities, connect or relate to commons? I'm sure several of you stay in apartments or condominiums. If you can start visualizing them as commons, where we share a common piece of land, but we own our own apartments in it, we share facilities, we share resources, like we share the watchman, we share an elevator, we share uh, maintenance fees. We form our own associations where we set up rules to self-regulate. These are also very similar to the design principles which village commons operate on. And, and it is in the coming together of these village commons, pastures, forests, water, along with new generation commons like Linux, Wikipedia, Creative Commons, that we can hope for a future where the community ownership is seen as an equally strong and viable proposition for governing all manner of shared resources instead of relying excessively on state control or privatization.
I'd like to celebrate and share this award with the many communities that manage commons across the world, including this very village that we are in. Yes, Oxford manages some 10 square kilometers of registered commons and village greens. In the years to come, we would like to continue our work with uh, state governments in India and build layers of rights over community land and water resources to the already huge investments that they are making on such resources. Commons need commons to reinforce one another. Please join our efforts in this. Thank you very much.